Welcome to my second tutorial about Solaria, an AI voice created by Eclipsed Sounds in partnership with Dreamtonics. I've been working for more than a year with Synfi and several AI voices. I tried out many methods and in my opinion the simplest and quickest way to render the singing and bring it into your digital audio workstation is brick by brick, sentence by sentence, each in a separate WAV file. Through this, it will be easy to edit each part of the vocals in the same way as you would edit an audio recording made by a human singer. It will also be easy to create good backing vocals for your song. It doesn't matter which digital audio workstation you are using. It also doesn't matter whether you are using the Synfy Pro or Basic, the free version. The way of rendering is the same. First, the basics. How do we work with Synfy? I will start from scratch. Let's open Synthesizer V, hide the arrangement pane as we won't need it. We choose a voice. I choose Solaria Light. Set the tempo, in this case to 90 BPM. I will give Solaria a little bit of breathiness as I think that it adds to a soft feminine side. Just experiment with the settings and choose whatever pleases you most. Now let's go back to the loudness edit as this is the function that we will need most. Let's choose the writing tool. Now I enter the notes and my lyrics. Promise is broken like shattered glass. Promise is broken like shattered glass. Each block represents one syllable and its pitch. For words with more than one syllable, you will need to enter the plus sign, like in this example. If you want Solaria to sing one syllable over several notes, use the minus sign. Here is an example. Promise is broken like shattered glass. You can also combine both. The plus sign indicates where the next syllable should begin. Promise is broken like shattered glass. Now let's go back to the first version and save it. A little hint. If you own the Pro version of Synthesizer V, select all notes, go to manual mode and choose a new pitch for the whole group with the random seed function. I think you can hear the difference. Promise is broken like shattered glass. Okay, now we know how to compose and enter our vocals into Synfy. The next step is to integrate them into the song that we want to create and bring them into our DAW. I work with Logic Pro, but what I will show you works with any other program you are using. I have prepared a short and simple track for Solaria to sing too. Just a little glimpse. I have prepared tracks for the voice. I give Solaria more presence by choosing a vocal preset for the main track. The deasser is important. I add another track to give her a nice reverb, but not too loud. You can choose any presets and effects that your program offers. Now let's start with the first line of the chorus. I open it in Synfy. Sometimes it is necessary to correct the loudness of notes that are too present or not enough, but in this case it's okay. Now I would like to hear what this line sounds like in my song, right now, 
to judge if it fits well and if I should continue in this way. For judging this, I must hear it with the effects that I have chosen for the vocals of the song. This is not possible with the VST plugin that the Synfy Pro version offers. You cannot edit the voice on the spot. So I prefer this easy brick by brick method that offers me more possibilities. It is also available in the free basic version of Synthesizer V. Now I open the render menu and I render this first line of the chorus as a wave. Let's switch over to Logic again. I open the file explorer and drag the rendered file directly in my song. I can hear now if the timing fits. If it doesn't, the problem can be the position in the grid or a bad position of the notes composed in synth V. In that case, just go back there, change what needs to be changed and render it again. The old file will be overwritten by the new one. Just drag it into your song again. OK, let's go to the next line of the chorus. We compose it in synth V, render it and put it into the song. I proceed in the same way with all lines of the chorus. I'm speeding this part up a bit. Promises broken like shattered glass. We were a future that could not last. Lost in Now we can work on our chorus. We can change anything, the effects, loudness, position in the surround mix. We can even use time stretch on part of it to make minimal changes that make the voice sound more natural. Many thanks to Megapixel404 who gave me this hint. I have now composed and rendered all vocals of the song. Now let's go a step further and give Solaria some nice backing vocals to decorate the song. A very easy way to do this is to shift the notes up or down by an octave. I open the first line of my chorus again. I select all notes and shift them up. The sound of vocals and backing vocals together will not be good if both have exactly the same pitch. So if you work in manual mode, you should give the backings a new pitch with the random seed function. If you work in sing or instant mode, the pitch will change automatically. I save the file under a new name and render it. Then I place it into the song. Promises broken like shattered glass. For low backings, I go back to Synfi and shift the notes down. I give a new name and save, place the low backing vocals into the song. Promises broken like shattered glass. I have created some trickier backings to enhance the last line of the chorus. Let's hear it. Lost in a maze. I have rendered a few decorating notes that I want to put behind the chorus and at the end of the song.
once you have the rendered files in your song, you can copy them easily anywhere you want. That's all for this time. Thank you very much for your attention. If you want to, hang on and listen to the song we've been working on together. Goodbye and good luck with your music production. Searching for solid